Brothers and sisters, we live in a society that is the I society, that me, myself, and I, being selfish, self-centered, everything is about me. Forget about everyone else. I need to be number one. Whatever I do is the best thing for me. I could care less about what everyone else around me does. It is an individualistic world, an individualistic world that we live in. Everyone for themselves. Be first. Whatever it takes for you to do that, it's okay. It's worth it. And this is a Machiavellian philosophy that the ends justify the means. Whatever it takes you to do it, you will do it. And societies are pushing us for that, are pushing us to be louder, stronger, go ahead, argue, uh, debate, uh, race, do whatever it takes for you to be on top. And the concept of the Ummah is slowly brushed aside, slowly disappearing. But the believers are brothers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ إِخْوَةَ That indeed the believers are brothers. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also tells us that inna hadihi ummatukum ummatan wahida. That indeed this ummah, your ummah, it is one ummah. Ibn Abbas, Mujahid, Qatada in the tafsir, Ibn Kathir and so on, they say that your religion is one, your aqidah is one, your lifestyle is one. You are tied by this bond of faith which goes deeper than the bonds of blood. That you are Muslims. Allah continues then to say and talk about what? About people breaking up. Unity is vital. Unity cannot go based on the I society, but on the we, on the concept of ummah, on the pluralistic the jama'ah, the, the society that the Prophet wasallam established in Medina. And this is something that is vital for our ummah, for our existence, for our iman and for our faith to have this unity. To be not about I, but to be about we. To sacrifice actually, to give yourself, to give the why selflessness in helping others, in going out there, in doing whatever it takes to be in the service of Allah by serving humanity, subhanAllah. Why are we brothers and sisters today in the backseat of this? Why are we brothers and sisters today not at the forefront of this when we have the concept of ethan? What is ithar, brothers and sisters? Ithar is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, uh, talks in the Quran about who the Ansar is, how they behave towards the, uh, the Muhajireen, those people who came from Mecca, who migrated. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَيُؤْثِرُونَ عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ وَلَوْ كَانَ بِهِمْ خَصَاصًا And they prefer these people over themselves. SubhanAllah, pay attention. Even though they themselves are in need so what does that mean? You are in need. You might have you know, some food, you're hungry, and you share it. Actually, you even give it more to your brother or sister because you want them to have more. Because you prefer them by the bonds of brotherhood and sisterhood in Islam that they should have it. As the Ansar did to the, uh, the, to the Muhajireen. What did they do? They gave away from their lives. They gave away from their livelihood, from their businesses, from their money, from their own family, subhanAllah, to the point that they're about to inherit from each other, subhanAllah. Brothers and sisters, what is happening though to believers today? What's happening to us that we don't care about the Ummah, that we don't care about the people in Pakistan, in Bangladesh, in Burma, in Syria, all over the world, in Iraq, Palestine, wherever, if I forget anything, all the countries of the Muslims where Muslims are being afflicted. How can we sleep at night and know that these people are being killed? Forget about not being hungry. How can we sleep at night knowing that these people are being killed? The Hadith of the Prophet said that you do not believe, truly believe firmly if you go to sleep and your neighbor is hungry, we're talking about hunger here. What about that your neighbor or your brother, your sister is being killed? What about that? Do we suffer for Ummah as the Prophet ﷺ said that the believers are like a body? If one part is ill, then the whole body is ill. Can we sleep at night, brothers and sisters? Ithar, if we can learn to conceptualize this, to, uh, applique, to, to put this in application, this concept of selflessness, of preferring your brothers and sisters over you, we will find that our ummah will change. We will find that the ummah will come back to its just role, to its just status in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Dear brothers and sisters, this is Gabe Aromani for the little reminder. Bring back the ummah, bring back Ithar. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.